Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone across this beautiful blue-green globe of ours. Welcome to Real News Live. I'm your host, Mike Barrett in Seattle, Washington. And that lady down there, the lady with the lustrous hair from Hayden, Idaho, is in fact, Jennifer Falah Doreen. Jen Jen, how are you doing today? I am doing great. It is Friday and I'm doing excited great. about the weekend. Excited about the weekend. I have a couple things. I'm going to have a very busy Saturday, it looks like. We are going to do an SNL. At least it's planned. I'm going to have to make sure Brooks and uh, Candace are on. If not, um, maybe we'll have an additional person. I don't know. There's somebody else out there we might be adding. So uh, great response yesterday from Suzanne's Esh, uh, Suzanne Esch's visit and reading of the information she got from the Simon Parks Connecting Consciousness Call. We actually have a lot more detail on that today, Jenna. We're going to go over that in a minute. So, uh, you know, that'll be interesting stuff. I, I'm looking forward to doing that before we go to the free readings. Okay, so who is here? Laura Mills is here. Jennifer <coughs> Gadba is here. Tiffany Hayes is here. Jackie is here. Hi, Tamu Najina is here. James Pruitt, Susie Q, Sandy Maynard, Oregon Farm Girl is here. Everybody loves farm girls, right? Uh, Oski Powers is here and so on and so forth. I wanted to just address one thing before we get going. Um, Mike, what will the Nassara reset mean for regular people? You said the ones involved will get huge payoffs, but what about us? Well, there are people are going to get a lot of benefits they didn't have before. The benefits you do have, like Social Security, are going to double in many cases. Your debts are going to be paid off. A whole lot of things are going to change. So the average person, they, you know, the average person is going to do very, very well under Nassara, that's the whole point. Uh, I kind of got pissed off and went off on somebody yesterday and he deserved it. But honestly, I gotta remind you guys that uh, I am just coming down off two rounds of prednisone, which is a steroid. I have roid rage. I mean, I have been like really, really difficult to live with a real bear. Hi, Suzanne. Uh, great response from the show yesterday. Everybody loved you coming on. So I really appreciate you and your contributions. But I just wanna let you guys know, my temper is a little short. And it hasn't it, it hasn't gotten a lot better. I again I had the thing where I woke up about two or three in the morning, had a difficult time getting back to sleep. But um, you know, I just want to let you know I'm kind of short tempered, and so probably be good not to do anything that might piss me off, like attack my guests, attack my hosts, or get after me, or start, you know, poo pooing stuff we're talking about. If you don't want to believe us, great, don't watch the show. Okay, watch somebody else's show. Watch Jordan Sather's show. All right, so, um, yeah, here we are. George, a. Jordan Sather has been saying the Mac telegram is fake. Mac? I don't know, what's, General, oh, General Mackinac General telegram Mac. is fake and Nassar is bullshit. Uh, I don't believe it's fake. I don't believe the machinery thing is fake. Uh, certainly, he has not denied it on any of his other platforms. And I believe when he when he did come in um, on his Twitter, he did advertise it. So uh, he did advertise that he was going to Telegram, and it is the kind of thing that he would uh, he would do. And Jordan can say anything he wants about Nasara, but I've known about it since 2010, and talked to people in government who know about it. So great, Jordan's. Jordan's entitled to his opinions, as is Phil. Phil's entitled to his opinions about the earth being flat and all that stuff. So that, that doesn't bother me because it doesn't cross over with what I'm really talking about. Okay, Jen, something came up. There's been this feud going on between Lynn Wood and a lot of other people who want to take Lynn Wood down. General Michael Flynn has been in the middle of it, kind of iffy, kind of weird not really knowing where he stands. People like, um, people like, guys, it's too early for the free readings. We're gonna get to the readings later. So Rosemary, just hold your hold your gallbladder questions until we get to the free reading portion of the show. Um, so, you, you know, there's been all this infighting and I, I guess we really said, um, what we really were talking about was that, that there is some legitimate infighting and the purpose of it is to sort of expose to you who these people really are because you shouldn't get into idolatry and idolatry, idolatry as people who aren't God, which I also think could mean Trump. But, you know, the thing is, this movement needs a hero. It needs a leader. It needs Donald Trump. And so we shall see. Um, OK, so in the context of that, some interesting stuff came out that I ran across. A user uh, sent me on my Telegram, 
which is an official telegram and is real. And that, I mean, I'm saying that as I S space R E A L, not Israel, but is real. Okay. Just so everybody knows that I'm not a, I'm not a uh, Zionist. It's pretty weird. So I'm going to play a little bit of this video. These are two Christian dudes. So take it for what it's worth, but they are talking about how this prayer that Michael Flynn read at some major Christian Patriot event is actually a, from a kind of a weird source and a little bit new agey and Masonic and, you know, new age. Hey, we're here, Jen. Right. But let's listen to this video just for a few minutes and um, and see what we all make of it. Here we go. This is from True News. Summit Lighthouse Flame of Freedom Speaks Conference. Almost sounds MAGA. Uh, Flame of Freedom Speaks Conference. This was held in July on July 3rd, 1984. Okay, this was part of a 45 minute um, uh, uh, dictation that she gave. Channeling. Right in the middle of this dictation is her giving a prayer regarding St. Michael the Archangel. Watch this. This is Elizabeth Clare Prophet. I am here, oh God, and I am the instrument of those sevenfold rays and archangels, and I will not retreat. I will take my stand. I will not dare to speak, and I will be the instrument of God's will, whatever it is. Here I am, so help me God, in the name of Archangel Michael and his legions. I am preborn, and I shall remain preborn, and I shall not be enslaved by any foe within or without. Wait a minute, was that Michael Flynn in a dress? No, Rick, that was Elizabeth Clare Prophet in 1984. Well, she, she plagiarized his prayer. Uh, how do you do it the 40 years beforehand, Rick? Well, I don't know, Doc, but she had his, she had General Flynn's prayer. She must have carried it in her pocket. Now, that prayer actually appears in a book. And if we can put 14 back up, number 14 for control, the Betraya book, though what she just uh, prayed there, Rick, is in that book right there. That is in print form in that book right there. Um, what she prayed was, and if we put up number 18, this is exactly what she said, number 18. I am here, O God, and I am the instrument of those sevenfold rays and archangels, and I will not retreat, I will take my stand, I will not fear to speak, I will be the instrument of God's will, whatever it is, here I am, so help me God, in the name of Angel Michael and his legions, I am freeborn, and I shall remain freeborn, I shall not be enslaved by any foe, within or without. Now, does that sound pretty familiar? I'm it should. identical. Yes, because this is General Michael Flynn's prayer in text form here. And let's look at this. This is number 18B. If we can put that back, uh, put the General Flynn's text back up on the screen. Uh, give him just a second here. So now this, is, okay, this is General Flynn. All right. But this is verbatim what he said at Hank Kuhlman's event. Yes. Right? Right. I, I, you know, I'm an idiot. I just want to make sure, Doc. <laughs> okay. We're talking about Pastor Hank Kuhlman's religious event this is the text of the prayer right yes help, help me i'm an idiot yes this okay. is it we are your instrument of those sevenfold rays all your archangels all of them we will not retreat we will not retreat we will stand our ground we will not fear to speak we'll be the instrument of your will whatever it is in your name and in the name of your legions we are freeborn we shall remain freeborn and we shall not be enslaved by any foe within or without so help me god that's general flynn's prayer well Shut my mouth. Okay. Slap my pappy. <laughs> I, I'd really rather not slap your pappy, pal. Um, wow. Okay. So um, there's more to it. They show the actual video of Flair, of uh, Flynn giving his prayer at this event last summer. Clearly, he took it straight from Elizabeth Clare Prophet. For those of you who don't know, she was a fairly famous New Age televangelist back in the 1980s, who wrote a lot of books, sold a lot of them, and had a lot of fun. What I want to know is what's going on here. Some people say that this prayer is actually Masonic, that Flynn is indicating he's a Freemason. So, Jen, I just, I don't know what you got. You don't, you don't look like you got a lot. Um, what what do you get out of this? Is, is Flynn a phony Christian? Or is he a real Christian? Or is he some alternate 
Christian thing, Freemason. What's going on here? Any thoughts? Uh, first of all, <clears throat> this whole concept of, you know, I pray right and you don't um, is ridiculous. Am I any less a Christian than him because I'm over here talking to angels and stuff? No. Um, I, the only thing I don't like in General Flynn's prayer, um, I don't know anything about the seven rays. I haven't heard anything about that. Um, hers, uh, actually the one from the book, it was actually, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, you know, the, uh, the angels, you know, yeah, there's bad angels, okay? So if you say all the archangels, well, I'm not really sure all of them. I stick with just a few. I'm not sure all of them are, you know, there was a war in heaven and some of them went bad, okay? Um, so yeah, um, her, her prayer, exactly, let me read it again, Jen, is I am here, O God, and I am the instrument of those sevenfold rays and archangels, and I will not retreat. I will take my stand. I will not fear to speak. I will be the instrument of God's will, whatever it is. Here I am, so help me God. In the name of the Archangel Michael and his legions, I am freeborn, and I shall remain freeborn, and I shall not be enslaved by any foe within or without. I shall not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Oh, no, sorry, that's Dune. Uh, what do you, so that's what she said. Um, and you said you don't have any major issues with that. Um, the word freeborn just means that I will not be enslaved by evil. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna, I'm not gonna accept the fact that I was born into sin. And so a lot of people do have a problem with that. I kind of yeah. have a problem with that. Um, yeah, Catholics want you to think that you're all, you're born into sin as opposed to. And I've been born, born and raised divinity. Catholic, received all the sacraments, everything. Right. That right. I could receive. Um. The problem is, is that something like this is not something that goes out mainstream, okay? This, mm -hmm. this stuff people say in the psychic and the spiritual circles, and um, basically, we are all, archangels included, God's army, God's people, God's children, you know? And, and the way they say that, it, I, I mean, the, the initial, um, I don't think that he meant anything wrong, Um with his initial point, you know, mm -hmm. because he's basically saying, I am an instrument of yours, father. I am not going to let fear um, or rule me mm -hmm. and control me. I'm here to do your work. And so that's, that's what I'm getting from the, um, I don't know if it's Masonic, you know, my father was a Mason um, and I don't know how far, he bought it pretty far. He basically in it because his wife was in it. but And he was an artist for the Mason Lodges, and he knew nothing about this stuff. I couldn't even talk about paranormal activity with my dad. scared the crap out of him. So he knew nothing. Mm -hmm. All right? So, and he wouldn't tell me anything. Um, He goes, well, I can't tell you because we swore to secrecy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, okay. But I do well, know I mean, that if they were telling the Masons at that level anything like evil or stuff, it would scare the crap out of Dad, and he would have been gone. But okay, so what so you're doing is you're putting these terms out in the mainstream, and people are like, aha, you're a Satanist, you're a Mason, you're a this or you're a that. And he probably just um, is on a spiritual journey, too, and never really embraced it. Most Catholics, we're just like half-assed Catholics, okay? Mm. We go on the, on the holidays, we go on Sunday... We go to communion, we do what we're supposed to do, and what happened with me is there were a lot of things about the religion that I didn't agree with, like my mother was going to go to hell because she got divorced. And I'm like, I've never known a more loving, giving, caring, shining bright of a person. How could God be less understanding than me? He can't. And so there's, and so that leads people on in on a psychic journey, and they start listening to other people. And he's probably been doing some reading, and he's probably listening to other people, and people saying, "Well, you know, Archangel Michael is good, which he is, which he is. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that." And you said Jesus, you know. Um, so I, all this people 
rising up to be holier than thou, uh, it's understandable to w look for the warning signs of somebody who's actually trying to deceive you and push you in the wrong direction. Um, I don't believe that that was Flynn's intention, but along your psychic journey or your spiritual journey or your quest to be closer to God, you will acquire quite a bit of information. Some of it will ring true to you and you will use it again. And so um, I'm not going to stand here and say this person prays right and that one doesn't because your spiritual journey is absolutely personal and your intent is everything. And I do not think Michael Flynn is a Satanist or a, I just don't see that. Okay. Um, let me ask you this question. Let's ask the angels this question. Did he pull his prayer from Elizabeth Clare Prophet? I think he's been reading some things. Here. Okay. okay. But I do feel what? like there was an, a person in between that possibly gave him that. Yeah. Like on a piece of cloth or a, a, something you put on the wall. So he might yeah. not have known specifically it was from her when he first got it and said that that rang true for him is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Basically, um, he was just announcing that he is going, he, he's all in and he's God's instrument and he's not going to let this happen and he's not going to let that happen. And yes, he loves Archangel Michael and stuff, but people will jump on that to criticize and say, well, you're not praying the way you should pray. I don't yeah. pray the way I should pray. I talk to God. You know, I, I pray like this. Oh, my gosh, God, I'm such an idiot. You know, um, can you help me with this or that? Or can you, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do anything wrong. Please help me. I don't want to be led astray. You know, I don't I don't really I do say some of the prayers, you know, the the Hail Mary and the our father and things like that. But most of it is, uh, you know, I told God a long time ago, I said, yeah, this is a very confusing place to be. Yeah, I mean, I talk. Um, and if I, I have to say, if I have to let go of everything, the angels and everything, just to be on the right track with you, I'll do it. But just don't let me be led astray. If anything I'm doing is wrong or leading me astray, take it away from me. And I've said that for many, many years. And um, so just keep it divine, keep your heart and your intentions true and centered with God and he'll lead you in the right direction. I don't think Michael Flynn had any ill intent and tried to lead anybody in the wrong direction with that. No. Okay. Um, is this Elizabeth Clare prophet, was she a good person or was she trying to lead people astray for money? You know, I don't like to do that. I don't like to judge people on what they do because I have, I get one small snippet, but my first initial reaction was she was a fraud, but I have not okay. seen her body of work. So that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean she didn't speak some truth just because she was a fraud. Well, when right? she was speaking right there, I don't think she was channeling. No. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and you know, in terms of how people pray, I mean, I talk to Jesus, like we're, we're sitting at a bar having a beer. You know, it's like, Jesus, you know, this, this part of my life sucks. Could you, you, could you give me a hand with that? You know, I don't, I don't go with formality. I don't worry about that because I'm not, I don't think I'm supposed to. I don't think I have to. I think. Do you know why that's the best way. way? Because you've let down the walls. You've let God, Jesus into your life. And you're not, when you pray these pre-written prayers, I, I always thought when I was a kid, I'm like, I'm saying these prayers. I didn't know what they mean. Yeah, when I was a kid. But, I'm like, right. how is this doing any good if I don't know what it means? And when you just, right. there is something sacred about those prayers. Yeah, when you know the, what they mean. Um, so if you're just talking to God and saying, I'm going to be completely honest here, which you should, because there's no reason. <laughs> you're not going to pull anything over on God. Um, he already yeah, knows. Exactly. But that's true, honest, divine intent and communication is everything's out of the way there's no rocks in the stream there's no walls up so that's that's where growth is that's where that true connection is and that's where you learn to love them you remember that you love them yeah 
Yeah, um, Kathleen Alba Perez does the same thing with a glass of wine. Yeah, I don't think Jesus was a beer drinker. He was a he was a wine drinker. But I make him have a beer when he hangs out with me. So, um, okay. So if you want to watch that entire video, there's more to it. Um, it is from a conservative Christian perspective, maybe Catholic perspective. It's on my Telegram. So go go in there and, and check that out. Okay. So we had Suzanne on yesterday, and she told us a lot of what came through in the connecting consciousness call with simon parks which is from november 26 so about a week ago now um yeah on youtube uh, please like and subscribe we love that um but yesterday you got an email which purport very long which purported to be and i'm not i'm sorry if i don't know who it's from which kind of purported, purported to be um a more detailed accounting from a, a like the the um next level up in Simon's uh, organization of the notes from the call. So we're going to go through some of those right now. And I don't really have a good way of showing them because it's in my email. So I will read them and we will comment on them. Yeah, but this is just from an email. We don't have any confirmations or anything. Like right. That. But, but it's consistent with the other things that we've, we've heard. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is his um, his 63 uh, country coordinators. Connecting Consciousness is now alive in 63 nations. So um, basically, this is what I'm going to go through this and we're going to talk about bits of it. And I'm going to ask you questions as they come up. So, OK, okay. so Becky, welcome, everyone. Thank all the coordinators for their report. So what Susan got, I'm saying, is a level down like she got it from one of the coordinators or maybe even a person below the coordinator. So this is theoretically Suzanne. more detail. Mm -hmm. Suzanne, uh, Simon's Q&A. So what is coming in from all reports? is that it is not the virus, but the government's response, it is a very difficult phase. We know that there is a real move afoot to lock down as many countries as possible over the Christmas period. We're seeing that just recently in Austria, obviously. The good guys are planning action and the bad guys are becoming aware of that and how they are doing it. We uh, This morning we had a rare chat with uh, the African con continent coordinator. We were able to share some physical information with her, blah, 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 about South Africa. Uh, we've been sent the copy of what we would call the emergency broadcast system broadcast, which is due to go out to South Africa next week. Well, that would be this week, and it hasn't happened. So it looks like the first country to receive military action will be South Africa. Jen, is that true? Stupid pens are always running out of ink. <laughs> okay, so um, first of all, the one thing that I got as you were talking is remember the Q post that said that something would happen to stop people from fleeing to other countries. Mm -hmm. So if they do lock us down, um, kind of have a feeling that's, that's why. Um, now what was the other question? Well, is South Africa where this is going to start? The first EBS is going to be in South Africa. Is that, is that the plan? I feel like it's going to be worldwide at the same time. Same time. Okay, good. Because Simon thinks that Australia will be next. Um, okay, so the European Union um, want to lock down every euro currency country. That is what they would like to do. This has nothing to do with the variant. It is to do with an excuse to lock people down because they're now impending military actions occurring, are occurring. Um, the difficulty we have at the moment is so much is behind the scenes and it is about to become public. The information I can share with you, but I can't say it's 100% going to happen. I can only tell you that we've been told is that President Biden will be forced to stand down around the 15th of December. So let's ask um, that. Are, are there going to be massive worldwide attempts to lock countries down over these next two or three weeks? Is that, is that what the bad guys are planning? Is it the bad guys? Or the good guys? I do believe it's the bad guys, but the good, like, like other things we've seen, the good guys are probably going to allow it so that people that they're going to round up when everything goes, when everything goes dark, mm -hmm. um, can't flee. Right. Now, this is interesting because it co it, it coordinates with um, 
a forward that you put on your telegram yesterday that I put on, also put on mine, which is a woman named Hall or Holly who says, I called my husband. I am in D.C. He is at Andrews Air Force Base. That's outside of Washington, D.C. Doomsday planes are up. That's something you would do before massive military action. And he says they're talking about shutting down the government. That's here in the U.S. OK, but he is flying this afternoon and he'll call me later. He said this looks great, which she said is a code word. Forget what you need and go home. So she said she was heading to the bank in the store. So she feels this is just a note from somebody whose husband's in the military who said, wow, looks like something is going on. Um, any chance? Honest to God's is? truth, I don't. Um, initially, when I put that up, I had forgotten that they were voting to keep the government open. And so that when th that happens that there's a chance that the government might get shut down because of funding or whatever i think that that's something they might do automatically um so i'm not real sure about that now it doesn't mean anything else is not a go um it could be um is that what that was about no <laughs> okay well i'm wrong um he says gabriel says that that's not what that was about so we're we're this is exciting i mean something's going on they're preparing okay. and i really just feel like it's like nobody really knows something we're waiting for one specific thing and it's probably a nod to act from somebody they're waiting for one specific thing to happen and so nobody really knows exactly when it's go time and whatever go time means so right. everybody's just going to get the word we're going now we're going now yeah okay so what they're saying is then back to the email plan a was literally what we talked about a year ago where kamala harris basically took over from biden the plan was to get this view that he had cancer of the bowel so that's why he went to the hospital uh for scans and tests just before thanksgiving and they were going to declare to the world that he had cancer and that he had to step down and Kamala Harris would become president, but she went to pieces and became hysterical and it was impossible to work with her. So they had to declare that he was fine and everything was okay. So is that true? Did Kamala Harris fall apart when they actually tried to put her into the presidency? That's interesting since she ran to be president. Um... Probably just to get a good speaking gig with CNN, though. But she didn't fall apart and cry and oh, I'm scared and all this stuff. She was mad. She was mad because that wasn't part of the deal. Okay. She wasn't going to have to do much. Running for president, she wasn't. She knew she wasn't going to win. Um, it was basically a bunch of heads on a stage in the way, and um, I don't think she ever thought she was going to be president. Um, she was one of them that they could nominate to be vice, but they told her, you know, don't worry, you're not going to have to do anything. You're not going to have to really be the president. Okay. <laughs> all right. But now and if you put her in the to... thing, all eyes are on her. She's going to have to do everything. She's, you know, target number one, you know. Um, so that's why they're talking about getting rid of her now, because she's not willing to go along with the plan or was not able to go along with the plan. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so then they apparently go to plan B, and he said, this is only what I've been told. I've been told by a person that's always been right so far, that the Speaker of the House, Pelosi, was charged with a very serious crime but had something to trade. Where have we heard that before? And apparently what she traded was very helpful information about California, so much so that that information would allow the good guys to decertify the California election. California has the most electoral college votes. So if you take away California, then Biden falls below the 270 votes that are required. Otherwise, they would have needed, needed two or three or four other states to do it. In order for it to work, they have to go to the Supreme Court and be confident that the Supreme Court would basically annul the result. If that happened and California was removed from Biden's tally of victories, it can't just be given to Trump. What they can do is say the whole election was flawed so that the largest state has to be um, taken away. So that's interesting. And that fits with what you said. So they basically had nobody to go to. Is that that's why Biden was not announced as having cancer? Is that correct? 
Is that correct? Somewhat correct. <laughs> that's helpful. Getting. That's how. That's helpful, Mr. Michael. Well, you know um, what? Okay, so Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay, Gabe. Thanks. That's very helpful. Um, okay, so what? Then they then they're saying this. Um, okay, so Simon has been told that Biden will step down fifteenth by fifteenth December. If that's true, that means the military would be in charge of the world over Christmas, which, which seems bizarre, but that's a pattern. Then in January, a public inauguration for President Trump and the return of Trump. We do know that President Trump had a private inauguration some two or three days ago. That would have put it on November 23rd or that Friday before, which is when you said he arrived at the White House, right? Wasn't it? Uh, oh, goodness. Wasn't that the, around that time? I think that um, was the 12th. 12th. Okay. So he Simon's got it not on the 12th, but on on around the 20th or 23rd. Um, so what happened is, is that we would, what we would call a private inauguration by invitation only with the public, without the public or cameras being there. Um, and why would you want a private inauguration? There's a reality is there's still a sizable portion of the military who are very uncomfortable about deposing a government, even when that government is illegal. Well, we need to get rid of all those people in our military because they're not true Americans. So some military people wanted comfort, um, is the correct word for it, protection so that they could not be prosecuted. Oh, good, thinking of the country first. They also wanna feel they're upholding the Republic and not working against it. Many aren't were invited to witness the inauguration. Up until that moment, going back to March, President Trump was accepted as the commander in chief of the military forces. Then there was a split between Miley, who was removed privately and replaced with Marine General Berger. Let's ask that, has Miley been behind the scenes replaced by Marine General Berger? I just heard yes, second in command. Okay. So Trump is now no longer just the commander in chief. He is also the president. Yes. So he's saying flag off, which is what we just, we talked about a while ago. So flag officers are more comfortable now because he is the commander in chief and their constitutional president. What we don't know is whether he was sworn in or inaugurated in the same fashion or whether they have gone back to the true constitution and the true republic and made him the 19th president so let's ask that question is he the 19th president of the republic or does he have a different title like the 45th president of the corporate thing right now it's a continuation of the last um, the last presidency when okay. they have <sighs> so it's not of the republic yet because they haven't announced the Republic. Technically. Yeah. So okay. technically it's just a continuation of what he was before. And um, so when they get it all said and done, supposedly, then they will inaugurate him as that. We got okay. a comment well, in here that I don't appreciate. Okay, well, I'll check that in a minute. I can't, yeah. I can't see it right now. Um, <clears throat> There was one other thing in there talking about the currency reset. Um, it's always been about Iraq reevaluating re its money to a more balanced currency exchange with the rest of the world. That is what we call the linchpin, the big one. Um, and he, Simon says he's under a military NDA. Now he's saying he doesn't really expect the QFS and all that stuff to happen until um, until January, but we're—I mean, again, all the financial people I follow, we're right on the brink of this thing. So well, the, you know, it's like it could happen. Who before, cares, right? right? It's within—it's all doing this. It's all happening within the next couple of months. I mean, so let's—it would probably happen then because remember I said there's the flip, then there's the uprising, then there's the. Um, you know, my fellow Americans, you undoubtedly see that we're taking back our great country. Um, 
And then you get the EBS. So I really don't think the EBS is going to come until we've got this huge upheaval happening. I mean, it only makes sense to put it out then so that everybody knows what's going on. You know, um, so I, I have always said that the big backlash is going to come when Trump goes back into office. Um, so. Okay. Um, yeah, we have another Dean troll in there. Dean, Dean's now started to pretend to be a girl all the time in our chat, which is interesting. Yeah, I said something that, like, well, how many times are you going to be wrong? Never been wrong. Oh, uh, <laughs> Why don't you tell us how many times we've been right first? Yeah, and then we'll exactly. talk about how many times like we've been wrong. Million times. Like when Jen says President Trump is going to be on the White House North Lawn at 6 p.m. on Friday the 12th. And on Friday the 12th, completely unannounced with no security, no snipers on the roof, complete lack of preparation. Marine One comes in, lands on the North Lawn, and somebody gets off. Who the fuck do you think that at 6 o'clock? Who the fuck do you think that was, guys? Give me a That break. was cool. That was that was totally cool. That's and I was so scared. Did you say that? <laughs> I was just like, "Oh my god, let's get, well, and then let's get out of here!" And, okay, and I can't there wait. was there was Penguin Six right there to witness the whole thing. He's like, "Well, this is really unusual. They are they act like they don't even know the president was coming in." Well, guess what? There he was. And listen, um, you know, for everybody, I'm okay with being wrong. You know, it's part of my job, and all the psychic people out there know that. <laughs> all the humans out there know that. Um, so if anybody's got a problem, how many times are you going to be right? How many times are you going to be wrong? And what are you doing to contribute to this? What are you offering people? So until uh, you're, until you're no, doing more than wait me. Wait no, no dipshit. We, we did say December. Jen is still saying December. Now it's a couple months. No, we haven't changed it. This is Simon Park's information. See, it's if you're too fucking stupid. You him off. To figure that out, get out of my fucking chat, okay? It's like <laughs> stop trying to stop trying to pin other people's stuff that we're talking about on us. Fuck you, Sean. You're blocked. Just had enough of this shit, Jen and Roy. You stepped Brager over. Not. You stepped over, Sean. You stepped stop over the line. Trying to pin. We're simply reporting other people's claims and statements. Right. We are right. sticking to what we've talked about. You know why? Because that little lady down there with the lustrous hair is right 85 or 90 percent of the time. I just, ha I, you know, I've been putting up with that guy for a long time. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, I have no time. I have no time for. I have no time. I have no patience. You know, I seek, right. seek happiness, people. Yeah. People do that yeah. to you. If, if our show doesn't bring you happiness, <laughs> go find something else to watch. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, pregnant zone withdrawal. Yeah, it is, but I'm also just sick and tired of this shit. It's like, again, trying to pretend like we said something. We didn't say it's not, we didn't say January. Simon did. We're simply reporting that, which is as clear as it could have possibly been. So it's just somebody trolling. Well, guess what? You got me triggered and now you're gone. And if you come back under another name, I'm going to block you again. Him and Dave are my watchdogs, you know, like, I, I know that like at any moment I could just like, take the leash off and just let them go and they'll just defend me <laughs> especially dave i'm, uh, I said I'm not dave. marrying a blonde i'm not mar i married a blonde the first time it's gonna be a brunette this time i promise you all <laughs> right um okay so uh what else do we want to talk about i guess um i guess that's oh. kind of where you had one other thing i thought right uh No, not 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 pertaining to that email or anything. Um, let's get back to current events and see what's um, what happened well, since the last show. Okay, so I mean that's basically it. I mean it's just basically more confirmations of stuff we've been talking about. Let's ask again. As long as we're here, you're still getting December seventeenth for a big announcement about the financial stuff or about Trump or about something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I tried to ask again. No. Jen's and, not, you know, Jen's I'm on perfect. a spiritual journey over here, people, and I'm supposed to be trusting myself and, and uh Gabriel Michael and Jesus and God right now and <laughs> so when I hear something and I is it still that day? They're like Listen to what <laughs> I said. And I'm like, Okay. 
<laughs> and so you're all just going to have to wait. Right. You're all just going to Okay, have guys. To wait. Um, 288 of you in the live stream right now. Do not forget that this video will be pulled down off of YouTube on Mike Bear 2 and Mike Bear 3 as soon as we are done uh, with this with this show, but it will be then available on mikebera.blogspot.com where you can always pick everything up. It goes directly to our Rumble channel. We have the festive Christmas introductory video there. It goes directly to our Rumble channel which has a 1.2k subscribers and we want you to go in subscribe to rumble go follow and subscribe to real or sorry create an account on rumble subscribe to real news live capital r capital n capital l and absolutely follow us on rumble where you can always pick up the show again i had a lady the other day say well you haven't done your show in months i'm like well it was months ago when mike bear official was taken down go to the blog spot you can always find me there if not come to the rumble that's where we are going to be broadcasting all of the shows. Also, please do not forget to patronize our wonderful sponsors, the Ungoverned T-Shirt Company.com. It's Christmas time. Buy somebody in your family that wonderful patriotic gift, whether it is the uh, baseball cap, the Ungoverned Tees baseball cap, the Tweedledum shirt 2020, the stickers, the It's a Pandemic Stupid tick stickers, the un Ungoverned T-Shirt beanie, the Child Lives Matter shirt, the ungovernedtees.com mug, the fake news creates fear t-shirts, the socks, the patches, the Obama trader t-shirt, which is very popular, or my personal favorite, the long sleeve, Obamagate or MAGA t-shirt in either black or beige, or the long sleeve crew neck sweatshirt, black or beige, MAGA or Obamagate. Take your pick. The ungovernedtees t-shirt company.com, ungovernedtees.com, true patriot gear for true patriots. And Jen, why don't you remind us again what's going on? on jenniferfullock.com. Okay, well, a lot of people are loving these gift cards. It's just an easy way to give a gift, and you can bank them for yourself later. You can redeem them at any time. And each one is individual with a uh, number, so they can't be used twice or anything like that. Um, right now, we've got the half an hour reading for $20 off the regular price, and we have a two-for-one service Two for the price of one would for a uh, divine healing and uh, an energy cleanse uh, removal. Just clean everything out. Um, and those are available now. Um, I get the emails. I make you the card. I send it to you in the email. And then you send it to whoever you want to or keep it. Um, by yeah. popular, you know, by um, request, I put a love button on there. So any some people have said in the past that, you know, um, like if you go over on a reading and they're like, well, you know, we've gone 20 minutes over, you know, can I send you something? And I'm like, well, you could do this or you could do that or just forget about it. But some I people want to. So right there, you can enter in your own amount and it comes directly to me. We also have our psychic development classes available. The first one is recorded and available for you now. And I suggest that you take that before you take the others. It's not required, but it'll help. Um, the other one is coming up on next, Tuesday. this next Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Tuesday. Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. 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 Yes. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Wednesday. And, um, that will be live in a psychic development class, clairvoyance, mind, eye, vision. And I'm going to explain to you what it looks like, what it feels like, how you can use yours and develop that. Um, also, uh, Let's see what else do we got oh i've been getting a lot of emails okay and um for the paranormal people i just want to say anybody who would like for me to attend their investigations or um speaking events you can you can email me that's that's something different but the investigations um i don't really go there i do things remotely i could but um, I did work with paranormal people in the past, and I kind of ruined all the fun. Because if I encounter an earthbound spirit, and they come up to me and the angels, Jesus, say, I want to go home. I'm like, okay, yes, we're going to, okay, we'll send you home. <laughs> so then all the, all the electronics, everything stops, no more EVPs. And if there's bad guys in there, I'm not talking to them, and we're just going to get rid of them. So I kind of ruined the fun. So I'm the girl you call or send people to when like you see on tv where you go into a house and they're tormented by something and it, and you guys are getting all this information and blah 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 and you go in and yes verified yes it's there 
How do we get rid of it? That's when you send them to me. Um, also, there are people that want me to do remote viewing sessions, site evaluations, are there aliens in this cave, uh, things like that. That's something I'm going to put up on the website sometime soon. I don't have any kind of button for that, but just email me about it if there is a remote viewing session that you want done on some kind of um, location. So, um, yes, if I do go on a paranormal investigation, uh, it's usually a good time because we get a lot of EVPs because they want to get crossed over. Mm -hmm. One of two things happen. We either get a lot of EVPs or everything goes quiet because it's bad guys and they're hiding from me and the angels. <laughs> so, um, I did used to do that work for paranormal groups and, uh, they didn't like that because I would send, the, the, I would cross people over or send the bad guys home. So, um, if you have a person who is tormented by something or would just like to help this spirit move on, that's when you call me. Okay. Um, and just to remind everybody that if you would like to send me some love, I can always use it. It's paypal.me slash Mike Barra or Venmo at Mike dash Barra. I appreciate it. Five bucks, 10 bucks, 25 bucks. I have Christmas presents to buy like everybody else. I have internet to pay for this awesome internet service, much better than Blake Wally's internet service. And, you know, I have uh, books to sell and things to do and life to go on. So I would appreciate any holiday love you would like to send me. I yeah. will take it. Okay, Jen, shall we go to the phones? And see what everybody else wants to talk to guys go ahead and put your personal reading stuff in there and again let's just simply put it out there um you have to we, we either need if it's about you we need your real name at least your first name or the person you're asking about that makes it much easier for jen to connect so all right um da, 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 da. let's see if there's any questions in here the 63 nations does not include some western countries suzanne says so she knows all about that stuff. Um, Naya wants to know, will Naya Aurora, wh when will my partner Capricorn contact me? Is he mad at me? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. A uh, question for Jennifer. Is Dr. Yes, David he's Martin... Mad at you. He's mad at you. Uh, <laughs> is Dr. David Martin for... Is Dr. David Martin for real a white hat or is he a con man? He supposedly has information on patents and criminal activity regarding the Scrovid. I really couldn't make that. I, I couldn't comment on that. I don't like to credit or discredit people when I don't know their body of work. I don't know what, I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know who it is either. So, um, is Comet Leonard a sign in the heavens. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Let's see. Um, no. It's just there. It's a thing. Like it's a, a constellation. It's, it's um, a sign. Yeah, I found this this yesterday i think it was off lynn wood uh is the tucker email and i have it right here let's go let's go take a look at this share screen window telegram is the tucker email on gab is this is this a real email it's, it's an alleged email lynn wood posted out uh from tucker carlson to hunter biden of course, getting on a plane now i will i, I but i'll ask susie to send it right away thanks again it's really nice of you to do this uh hunter biden says hey i need um buckley's cv if you have one handy and then here's one from tucker carlson says hunter i can't thank you enough for writing that letter to georgetown on buckley's behalf so nice of you i know it'll help hope you're great and we can all get dinner soon these are all from 2014 it appears that hunter biden and tucker carlson were buddy buddy okay so my question jen is are is are these real emails between tucker carlson and hunter biden Real, yes, but not what you think it is. Okay. Um, Sounds like he was helping her get a somebody get an intern job or something like. Right. Tucker, Tucker was not friend. aware of what Hunter did at the time, and basically, I think Hunter was being a spokesperson for the family or something like that. I don't think that 
um, they were like buddy buddy or in uh, Tucker's in the cabal or Satanist or whatever. I, I think it's just taken out of context. It was from like 2014 or something, and um, I okay. don't think he knew at that time. Okay. I'm a Connecting Conscious member, and I got this email. Also, it's a 15-page document. Email per Simon should not be shared, but glad you're analyzing. Well, it did get shared. So, um, <clears throat> Patty would like to know. Oh, I missed her. Sorry, guys. That's it's probably jumping. why we don't know who sent it. It's jumping really quick. Um, I received the email, and I don't know who it's from, really. And it said, forward it to Mike. And I read a few a little piece of it. And I said, well, I'll forward it, it on. Discussing. Yeah. I thought it was worth discussing. Well, we're not members uh, of the group. We're not members okay. of Connecting Consciousness. We talked about Governor Kemp of Georgia on Wednesday. Is Governor Kemp going to turn around on the election to get support from MAGA supporters against Stacey Abrams? It's a good question. Um, I heard last minute substitution. Last minute substitution. Jen, is Jimmy Church Frankenstein's monster? No, quite obviously, he's Lurch, okay? He's Lurch. Um, from the New York Post, Janet Yellen says, the U.S. will run out of money if they don't raise the debt ceiling again by December 15th. Well, they raised the debt ceiling yesterday uh, to avoid the deadline today. They're just going to keep doing that to try to get more money to spend. Uh, is it true... There are rumors Kamala Harris used to be a dude. Although I think I've seen some childhood pictures of her as a girl. Is that true? Not true? No, she's a female. And she's just so everybody knows, uh, Suzanne, who was on the show yesterday, was not the one who sent me the email. I didn't know there was a rule or I wouldn't have passed it off. Yeah, no, and Suzanne did not send the email. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Questions, questions. Yeah, Jack Posobiec tweeted out yesterday that Trump has beefed up his personal security. Is that true, Jen, or is it is it is it because something's happening, or what's the deal with that? Okay, so what I heard is somewhat, but then I heard a shift in security. So whatever that means, what does that mean? Well, if Trump has been under military protection up to this point, it could mean that he's now under Secret Service protection because he's now sworn in as president. So there again. either has been a shift in security detail or it's coming. I think there has been. Uh... So Monica when you're watching the White House... You may see more social uh, social security secret, secret service. service present than there has been. There hasn't been hardly any. Jen, will the jab placebos be revealed? I wish more people knew what was it. I don't really get the question. I think it's uh, jab contents. I think that some of that's been coming out in documents. I don't think that they'll reveal that some of them were placebo because they have been paid for as legitimate vaccinations. Um, but I do think that documentation will come out that there was, like I said, there was, they're switching them out um, for something different. And we'll see more of that. And they love um, you, Jen, by the way. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, and Mary Jane would like to give a special thanks to Gabe for all the info he shares with Jen. Gabe He's and Michael. so wonderful. Everybody asks, why do you talk so much with Gabriel? And SB Archangel Gabriel is the messenger. And everything I do about my life is about being a messenger. And so that's why. So for, yeah. for Michael, I talk, I talk to him a lot too. But that's basically for um, anything that has to do with protection um things like that yeah he's the warrior yeah it depends on it depends on which 
you know, what you're asking about, which one of them comes through, right? I mean, it's kind of like, you know, Gabe may go, oh, no, Mike, this is my area here. I so always gonna... address them specifically. And oh, you I do? Teach okay. pe- yes, I teach people when I ask something, I'm either at the beginning of the reading it, tell them, you know, please help me pass on the truth. Um, or I address them specifically and I teach people to do that because I think it limits the opportunity for um, any bad guys wanting to get into your head and pass on something scary or wrong uh, from doing that. So direct, direct communication. Mario Alina says Trump wasn't pushing the jab. He was the one talking about uh, what they did with hydroxychloroquine. And when he left, they put bad things in it. That's what we've discussed before. Um, so we discussed. Prednisone withdrawal makes you mad. Yeah, it does. But some of these people have had this shit coming for a long time because I've put up with their constant negativity and whining. And I've been there myself, but this is not the time for it. I mean, literally, this is not the time to be jumping ship. Literally, the bandwagon is almost at the finish line and you guys are jumping ship and you don't have any faith. I mean, look, it's it's pretty clear. If we get into next year and Trump is not president, we're all screwed. We've all been lied to. But that's not what I feel like is going to happen. I feel like everything is ready and I don't think anything's going to stop it. And it's time. It's way past time. So you really need it. You know, it, it just look at it logically. Um one way or another we're going to have a financial reset so we're either going to get the really bad one and everything's going to go to shit or which will lead to an armed revolution of some kind yeah but... right um and if that happens it'll lead to an armed revolution of some kind worldwide and we'll all win so either way we win um or we'll avoid all that which i think they'd like to do and we will get some kind of gold standard nasara thing Mm -hmm. Um, I do think that the actual Nassara, it'll be altered just a little bit. Uh, I feel like there was just something in there that left a loophole to take your stuff. Okay. Um, or something, something about it wasn't quite right, but I do think that it's been altered a little bit and we'll see something very, very, very close to that. Um, oh dude, you should have, you should have heard me ranting last night, uh, in that Saints game when the at Saints Cowboys game, when the guy was called for a blindside block, when all he did was take a guy who was rushing and push him out of the way. I mean, it was a completely clean block. Look, NFL refs are deliberately affecting the outcomes of games because now that betting is in, in the NFL, it's going to happen more and more and more until it's all exposed. Okay, Elizabeth Light Tara wants to know, is Ghislaine Maxwell actually in the courtroom? They are bringing reporters into a totally different room with a TV monitor. Oh, I didn't know that. Shut I, I know. up, really? Is she really there? Is, is, well, we don't. We know that the real Ghislaine Maxwell, you say, is gone. Um, but is you there You told somebody... me not to tell people that. Oh, shit. So well, I, I never did. said that. I just did. Um, is just Lane Maxwell or somebody pretending to be her actually at this New York courtroom, or is this all just being broadcast from somewhere else, or is it all recorded from nine months ago or something? I don't know. That's a big question. I'd have to like take a little time and look. Um, oh my God, really? All right. So I don't think it's a typical she's sitting out in the courtroom by herself. I think that this is recorded and what the, and they're, they, and they're showing it to them. Like she's in a different room with her lawyers sitting next to her. Um, but I don't know how they would do that. See, I'd say I get confused and then I, then I step back from it. I really have to do a meditation on that one because I don't know how this, it's, it's really hard for me to believe that people are like, not around but then you see him around and all this stuff it's just like every time i get I information like that it's so hard to believe for me personally but that's what they're saying and what i really originally got and i'm just going to tell you now because we you know he let it out of the bag is that what i originally got is this, this was all over a long time ago and that when everybody was looking for maxwell she was actually already in gitmo because like i've been telling you what are they going to tell the world that they're looking for somebody so that the cabal can kill them off and they can't do this um, when, when Epstein was killed off, he wasn't killed off, he was moved 
if he was ever in there. It was actually, both of them were actually in Gitmo, and they were giving all their testimony, and blah, 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 blah. They've already been tried and hung by the neck till dead. And that's what I got. You know, it, I'm not going to make excuses. You know what could happen. It either yeah. is or it isn't, but that's what I got a while ago. So Cliff's, Cliff's info is targeting the 11th, 12th of December. Jen's got the 17th. We're all kind of right in the same four or five day ballpark there. I figure if you're within a week, you're you're good. You're golden. I um, got the 17th for the financial reset. The financial reset. Or the announcement of it, anyway. Yeah. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time for SNL. Yes, me and Dr. Brooks and um, and Candace, I hope, and maybe a special guest. So. Now, okay. I don't know if that's uh, like a worldwide public announcement or if that is a behind the scenes, all the banks announcement or what. But I feel like okay. that's when it really. Um, well, and then implement it has to, something has to leak out or it's not. Really the date. rollout yeah. begins in the next calendar year in January. And okay. they want to get this all done. They want to get it said and done before tax time. So before the end of January, before we would all get our W-2s, before anybody would do their taxes, they don't want everybody paying Biden's taxes. Right. Right. Jen, will my neighbor, Monica asks, find her lost Siamese cat, Suzuki? Lost cat signs all over my neighborhood. Well, you I can't tell you where it is, but I could tell you Suzuki if she Suzuki. finds it. Um, yes, in a day or so. In a day or so. Good. Glad that Kitty's going to get back home. Yes, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific for SNL. Absolutely. Sorry, I already clicked on that one, I think. Um, Jennifer is a Ghostbuster. Yeah, well, they run away from her. Hey, uh, just people. My... <laughs> they're just people what and they want to go home. Uh, bad guys, they do, they have started hiding. They, they ran away, but um, I don't talk to them. But, and here's the thing nothing is ever destroyed. Everything is sent back to the dimension in which it belongs. And so what the, the demeanor, there's no anger with the angels, Jesus even. You know, sometimes Jesus looks a little intense, but um, it's very, you know, there's no real emotion there. It's like, it is what it is. We've got an infestation. Let's get it out. Get it away from it. It's not supposed to be here. They put it back. They suck it down into the dimension it's supposed to be or take the individual back to that dimension, bind it up can't get back uh crossing over is a choice they open the portal um i have my actually my interesting tidbit my guardian angel nancy is an angel she's a white angel like the white winged angel and um she always does the crossing over and she's very good at snapping people out of it people with like mental illness or they're stuck in their own mental fog going on and they're like no i can't she's very good at talking them over so they open up the portal you see this big old circle open up and you see the paradise on the other side and then and she talks to them and then they when they say yes i want to go that's when they go you can't just kick a spirit out um you kick bad guys out um but you basically sever the connection that they have that they're feeding off of that helps them remain within this dimension because their their vibration is so low it, they, they get sucked back right so you just send them back home um and then close up all the doorways they had to come in but the the good guys are the spirits ghosts they're just somebody who is confused sick scared lost whatever or they don't want to go um and it is their choice to do so or not Okay. Uh, Okie fifty five R says, "My name is Margaret Robinson. My dad passed in twenty twenty, and my ninety four year old mom is still with us. Can you tell me if my dad has any message for me?" Yeah, that's going to take a little more time. So, a reading of some kind. Fran Leo, uh, hi, this is Genesis Liz. My husband and I have both been found positive with the C word. When will we start feeling better? Oh, I see what the C word is. <laughs> Oh, they're talking about the big C. Not, not the other one. Yeah. No. Um, 
Ich will in die Küche. In about a week. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. Uh, Jen, will Hungary's Prime Minister, strong Trump-like Prime Minister Orban, win his re-election? He's prepared for foreign interference. Great interview on Tucker. Will Orban win re-election yes. in Hungary? Yes. Proud to be Hungarian, as am I. 50%. Thank God I didn't get the hair in the ears. That's that's good stuff. Um, is the stuff that Phil G has been putting out about the true history of the world and the Nazis being good, true? It, some of it's true. Some of it's not. We don't know true. what's true and what's not true. Listen, just because you watched a, diame uh, a documentary and believed it doesn't mean you know the history of the world. Take a look at all the scientists, everybody in that's been their entire life and their entire body of work researching something, right? I am not, I'm not saying Phil G doesn't completely believe what he's saying. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell you he's wrong because I have not researched the history of the true history of the world and I couldn't I tell know. you. I do know that humans will have a preconceived notion about something and they will gather information and do research and put together documentaries that will support that we have seen that in science hey would you like a grant go out and get me stuff that supports um climate change that supports global warming and you can have your grant and they will do it and they will present information to you that is very convincing and so all of this flat earth all of this history of the world we really don't know because all we're watching is a group of individuals or one individual's take on that subject. So until we have a lot more information, I am not going to jump on board with that. Jen, Karen Kalf wants to know, will I eventually get my knee fixed in a med bed? Uh, I think you're going to get fixed before you have the opportunity to get a med bed. Okay. Traditionally. Uh, Tuggy, whose real name is <laughs> Joe. Joe wants to know, is there a best time to self-publish my novel? Should I first publish the fantasy or the horror sci-fi novel? Well, now is the best time. Like, you know, you can pick up Lightbringer, a dark mission novel by Mike Barrow, which is a fantastic read, a great novel that you should pick up on Amazon. I think actually I have to put it back up on Amazon. So you should pick up, absolutely pick up. Uh, this novel and by uh, Joseph Tuggy Waffles' new novel, whenever he puts it out. February. Like I don't know how to take. I don't know if I could take you serious on what you say. February. February and which one? The fantasy or the sci-fi? Oh my goodness! Should be the lead one. sci-fi sci-fi okay stephanie lynn jackson would like to ask you last month the ring of thieves stole my grandma's truck and ransacked her house will i ever see her stuff again i feel they are in the area but i'm not sure i feel like you'll find a few items that police will recover to you but not everything anything of value is pretty much you're gonna have to write it off that sucks steph um Jen, my name is Dale. I was looking at new cars last night. Is a new car in my short-term future? Oregon Farmer Girl wants to know. New car. March. March. Joanne Patton says, my cousin Barb's having a heart procedure on Monday, one of three. Will she be okay during all three? Ooh, that's a heavy question. Barb. I ask Jesus. She's going to have some kind of complications, but she'll come through it on these three. Yeah, somewhere somewhere along the way. Um, people are going to... So when you when you hear something, have faith. She's going to come through it. Okay, good. Uh, Rick Martin, Rick Norman, Jen, are the goalie health gummies as nutritional as they are advertised? No. I don't know. No, they're not. So, fuck them. Well, they have what they say in it, but they're not like... It's just a, it doesn't do that much for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Jennifer, what is the holdup with my benefits? Am I just not going to get them? Real name is Paul Neatfield. Fuck if I revealed. It's Paul Neatfield. Paul Neatfield. That's neat. 
All right. So, um, but you got tortured in school. Well, he's a big kid. <laughs> Probably one of the bigger kids. I don't know. The lack of people working on it is the holdup. Uh, Mike, any news from the me your mechanic friend? No, he's been very busy working on film deals. I will, however, ask him about the Trump security. He might be able to give you some information about that. Thank you, Stephanie. We appreciate it. We think you're pretty wonderful, too, most of the time. Most of the time. Um, Kathleen Alba Perez says, Jen, did my son Alex receive a placebo? And if not, will he be okay? Or does he need to do anything to help him? He's fine. He did not get a placebo, but he is fine. He did not get the big bad one. And there's different, there's like three different levels to these things that I'm finding out. You know, you've got some big bad ones, and then you've got some pretty much something that's kind of like a, you know, a mumps vaccine, and then you've got a uh, placebo. Mm-hmm. Uh, Solar Solar Lotus says, Jen, the wounded pup that showed up on my back porch is now with Mark. I don't know who Mark is, but uh, is he happy and well taken care of? Yes. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Good. Da, 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 da. People saying Governor Kemp is in Gitmo. I hope so. Um... Oh, it's anemia. I read that wrong. Sorry. Anemia? Somebody said, when you nearly die from an enema, and I'm like, how does that happen? But it was anemia. Yeah. Rosemary Limo, Jen, can you see what's up with my stomach? Gallbladder removed quite a few years ago. Sorry for posting. It's okay. You can post earlier. I just can't. It's just it's going to disappear in the flow of the chat, Rosemary. So you should save your questions till we get to the questions part of it. She doesn't have a gallbladder, so... It's just very acidy. Um, are you smoking? I feel like it's that. Okay. Um, it just feels like smoky, like it's, it smells like that or tastes like that. It's There's something going on with what you're putting into your body. Alter that and it'll feel better. Um, David Murtos, wow, this is a heavy question. My mom, Barbara Murtos, died years ago. She had been sick for a while but didn't die until the hospice gave her morphine. They give her an overdose on purpose. No. No. It just happened to be that way. They gave her morphine because they saw she was getting really bad. In a lot of pain. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, Dave's girlfriend runs a hospice house, and, you know, I know she would never do anything like that. So. Oh, Laura says Lightbringer is a great read. Look, at, look for my review on Amazon. Yes, look for Laura Mills' review on Amazon. Uh. I have to put that back up. It's not up for sale right now. Um, hi, Jen. Will the med beds take care of retinal scars? Yes. I think all that soft tissue stuff is going to be pretty easy to fix, actually. Uh, yeah, did you want to do the anemia question, the enema question, when you nearly die from an enema? <laughs> um, <laughs> too many jokes. All right. Um I don't think that's a question. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Jen, uh, do you see my husband, Michael, and I buying the house we are currently renting? <sighs> yeah, but it's going to be a while. Um, Susan McDaniel, Jen, will my QHH session this week be helpful to me? I don't know what that is, but we can ask if it will be helpful. Um, that's going to be interesting. Um, what I'm getting is that, um, it'll be helpful to you, but you're really going to be intrigued by it. Like, it's going to be more than you thought it was. Um, that's interesting. I, I, I would have to spend a little more time on that one to explain. 
Okay. Uh, Cindy says, great. Thank you. Um, okay. Lisa Western, last question. Jen, I found my son Jason get the, found out my son Jason got the jab several months ago and had an immediate allergic reaction. He seems to be fine now, but I would like to know if he is really okay or just not telling me about other symptoms. Jason. Lisa Western. That's something I should really take a look inside, possibly do a medical reading. Um, so I have some more time, but you know, just for quick, um, and there just happens to be a medical reading on sale right now on jenniferfalaw.com. So, yes, I'm going to get too much dead air on this, but, um, basically he should not take another one because the reaction will be more severe. Um, and what I'm seeing the reaction is as it's a typical reaction that people would have to regular vaccines. Um, so he should be exempt from vaccinations. Um, his body has changed and there's something about it that doesn't agree with him. Just like some kids have reactions to all the other vaccines they get when they're kids. Okay. All right, everybody. We will be back with Jen on Monday. In the meantime, there is going to be a Saturday Night Live this Saturday with me, Dr. Brooks Agnew. Hopefully, Candace Whitelight. We don't know. Also, I'm going to be doing kind of a special interview that I'm going to be posting probably before that show. Might even work out that this guy will come on as a guest um, as a guest on SNL, but I don't know. I'm not sure about that. It's going to be pretty interesting. It could lead to something bigger. Don't forget, please send me some love. PayPal.me slash Mike Barra. Venmo at Mike Dash Barra. Don't forget, there's all kinds of specials going on over at JenniferFalla.com. Jen, any final messages for the weekend before we head out? Um, it's very important right now, and the message keeps coming in to me. I don't know if it's for me personally, but I think it's good for everyone. Is that as we go through the holiday season, seek happiness. If there is someone or something standing in your way of happiness and bringing you down, dismiss them. You know, at, at this point in time, it's about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And if everything in the world is bringing you down and, and putting you in a box and destroying you, put it away. We'll all take care of it. Go and seek happiness, because that's what's the most important right now. We don't need everyone's vibration falling at the climax or right before we get to the finish line. We need it no. high. Seek no. happiness over the weekend. Laugh, love, and have a good time. And go Seahawks, go Manchester City. Everybody have a great weekend. Love you guys. See you back here on Monday. Some of you I will see on Saturday night. Be sure to tune in for that one. And Jen and I will be back on Monday. Have a great, great weekend. Bye-bye.